All right, hey guys, this is uh, what I want to talk to you about today is uh, regards to a question that I get all the time. It's uh, how do you how do you make money online uh, if you don't have any money? Uh, you know, there's always the saying you have to spend money to make money. This is true in a lot of ways. Uh, the first answer I always give is you know start a blog. It's going to take a lot of time, but you can you can start a blog for a couple bucks a month, and in over time, it you know you will make some money. But the other way to go about this is you can set up um, a little store with Shopify, uh, fulfill your products uh, using drop shipping and AliExpress. And essentially, I'm going to show you some tricks here today. You can get this up and running uh, really without spending any money. Okay, so this is really cool. If you want to go uh, as fast as possible to make money online from zero to, to whatever your goals are, I'm not saying this is easy, but uh, you know it's not hard and this is the easiest way to go about that uh, if you look down in the description of this video I'm gonna put a link to a post I wrote uh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago I suppose and what this post does is it kinda takes you step by step uh, through the thought process of actually how to make money uh, with with this uh, you know tactic so what I'm gonna show you in the video though is just kinda how to set up uh, your Shopify store and your, you know, you integrate your drop shipping with AliExpress and then once again click on that post link below and that'll teach you the, the thought process of making money. It's really cool. But anyways, let's get to it really quickly here. So the first thing you're going to do um, is, is you're going to go to Shopify here. Um, you know, just hold off, watch the video, uh, check out that post before you get started. But, and, then, and then maybe uh, you'll watch this video once again. So it's really simple to get started. You can try Shopify free for 14 days, no risk, no credit card, just enter your email address and you can play around with the dashboard. So that's awesome, get familiar with it without spending any money. The really cool thing about this though is if you do enter your credit card information, your store goes live, you can start taking orders and if you're still within that 14 days, Shopify won't actually charge your card until that 14 days is up. So you could, as long as you have a credit card to enter, um, you can you can start taking orders on day one and not pay for 14 days later. So by that time, any products you sold, uh, that money will already be in your account. So essentially, you're starting this with no money down. So that's really cool. So once you do start this, you know, enter that credit card information, jump on it, and just get started right away. Uh, so after you're logged in, um, this is going to be uh, what your Shopify dashboard looks like. Now this is just kind of a, a store that I set up for. Um, you know, just for uh, illustrative purposes. Uh, so if you do go back and watch this video later on down the road, it, it may be up if I, if I did something with it. Uh, it may be gone. I, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. Uh, but this is essentially, um, you know, a blank store uh, from the beginning. Um, now, we talk about Shopify and AliExpress, and what I really want to talk about is how to integrate this to make it so insanely simple. You're, you're, this is going to blow your mind. What we're looking for here is I only have two apps installed. You only re, really need two apps. You got your in-cart upsell. Uh, this is a free plugin for their for their basic tier. And what that does is it, if, if, if someone comes to your store and buys something, it suggests something else for them to buy. So you promote one item and then about 20% of the people will buy the second item uh, based on, on this, this app that suggests, you know, you may also like, so to speak, and, uh, and that's essentially going to be where your huge profits are going are to come in uh, because you don't have to do any advertising to get that second sale. If that makes sense, I'm not going to go into it too much, but that's kind of the idea there. The other app is Overlow app, which is, I mean, this, this makes it so easy. This is going to blow your mind. Um, so you load the Overlow app. It does cost money, uh, you know, 15 bucks a month, I think. Anyways, uh, but you get 30 days free. So once again, just enter that credit card information and you can start making sales before you have to pay for anything with Overlow. So that's awesome. When you click on Overlow um, and you know get that app installed, you know it'll take you to the dashboard where you're gonna get it all set up. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Uh, I won't go into that, you'll figure it out. Um, you know, as far as your, your actual online store, we'll look at it really quickly. Um, you can kind of customize your store you got themes here, uh, which is, you know, if, if, if you've ever done WordPress, you know, theme is just kind of the look and the feel of your store. Um, there's a bunch of free themes that are, that are totally awesome. So once again, you don't have to spend any money to, to get this going. Uh, you just you just pick a free theme that, that looks good for you and, and load it up. 
and, and you're good to go. So you can make your store look like any of these things down here. Uh, some of them cost money. Um, let's see, you can go ahead and just search for all the free themes if you like. And uh, a lot of these are, are going to be great. Uh, make a, a cool looking store without spending any money. So awesome, I think. Minimal, I don't know, it doesn't really matter, but I have one of these loaded up in the store right now. I'm not sure which one it is. Doesn't matter. Anyways, <clears throat> tons of options, all free. Um, you can blog on your on your Shopify store. If you want to do a little content marketing, um, you can make pages you know, about us. You can, do, you can put anything you want on there. Um, your navigation is, is your menus. Uh, you, can, you can make your menu uh, however you want it with, with whatever products you want. Domain, you can actually purchase a domain and, and load it up, and, and I recommend that uh, because if it's not on the, the My Shopify domain, uh, you will, you'll see a little bit better conversions if it's on its own domain. So something to consider. And then under Preferences, that's where you can put your Google Analytics, uh, your Facebook Pixel if you want to do some retargeting and tracking and all that stuff right there. But anyways, let's get back to the Oberlo app and show you how uh, easy this is to get stuff going with uh, Shopify and AliExpress. Uh, so the bulk of what's going to happen here is um, going to actually be in the Oberlo app once you get your initial uh, online store set up with, with Shopify. And the way the magic happens is through an extension uh, under your Chrome browser. Okay, so here we are over in the uh, Chrome browser. Uh, the Oberlow extension is installed. That's this little guy right up there. Um, so we're going to just go over to AliExpress uh, right now. And then this is where we're going to actually shop for products and get stuff loaded up into our store. So let's say uh, we're going to do a uh, necklace. You know, we're going to sell necklaces. You know, I recommend uh, you know, first just uh, start with a, a couple products that are closely related. And after you find some winners, kind of kind of ramp up as you go. Okay, so let's see here. Um, we have that Oberlo extension installed, and, and this is what it's going to pop up. It's going to show us all the products that are under Necklace. What this app does is shows you uh, which uh, products are going to ship to the U.S. via e-packet and how much that shipping is going to cost. And the reason that's important is because ePack is a cheap way to ship uh, these products. If you don't know, AliExpress is mostly sourced from China. Uh, ship these products uh, uh, to the U.S., but it provides tracking, and it's a little quicker than it normally is. So that's uh, kind of the integral part of, of this whole operation uh, because you have to provide your customer with tracking information. So once again, Overload takes all the guesswork out of it for you. And it shows you the products that, um, you know, for instance, this one does not offer e-packets, so we'll stay away from it. Okay, great. So what do you do? Just go ahead and pick a bunch of necklaces that you think uh, look great? Uh, no. What you're going to do is you're going to go through a couple of steps to find what I call winning products. All right, and these are products that are essentially guaranteed to sell. You're not. You're taking all the guesswork out of it here. Um, the post that I that I have written <clears throat> uh, that you can follow the link in the, in the description below that I mentioned earlier. This will tell you more about how to find a winning product. But one step of that, which I'll talk about since we're here right now, is in, you sort when you search anything, you sort by the number of orders. Okay, what this is going to do is going to bring the most ordered items right to the front. So if it's the most ordered item, it's it's obviously something uh, you know people want. So it really takes all the guesswork out of it for you. Once again, so you can see how this is kind of not you know. We're following a system here to, to give ourselves the best chance of seeing success. Okay, so, um, you know, the other thing is uh, if, if an item has been ordered a lot and you see a lot of, you know, five-star ratings, that means you got a trusted supplier. So that kind of takes that guesswork out of it, too, because the last thing you want is to make a bunch of sales and have the supplier screwed up on your end. Uh, so, once again, start with two products. Make it that simple. Um, this is $1.48. It ships to the U.S. via e-packet for $2.82. Uh, you know, that means we're, you know, what, four fifty dollars in. Um, we can probably sell that necklace for $14.99, don't you think? Why not? Um, so that gives us a $10 product. Uh, that gives us plenty of room to advertise 
uh, $10 profit gives us plenty of room to advertise this product as well. So let's just go ahead and get this loaded in. Once again, this is going to blow your mind. The Oberlo app takes care of it for you. Highlight your item, hit the little uh, sale tag down here, and this uh, Oberlo app jumps in, automatically puts this on your list to be imported. Um, once again, we want to take a, take another opportunity to get a second product in there. Yeah, this looks pretty good here too. Look at 96 cents, uh, 232 shipping. So we're in for under 350. Um, there's no reason we can't sell that for 14.99 as well. Uh, you might even be able to get 19.99 for it if you really wanted to. So uh, let's add this product. So once again, highlight it. We're sh we got a shipping e-packet, lots of orders, lots of five stars. Um, let's go ahead and hit the sale tag and get that imported. All right, just done like that. So once we get those two items loaded up, let's look at the import list right now. So this is back in the Oberlo app, and um, this is where we just uh, finalize the details of our products before we actually put them into our store. Okay, so let's change the name because this is the actual title of the item. So let's make this um, silver necklace. You can do a little bit more research and, and get some cool titles that sell, but I'm not going to go into that right now. Um, under the images here, <clears throat> it's always going to have at least one image selected. See, there we go. And what we're doing is just pulling images that are actually going to be put on our store. So we like this uh, one they have selected for us because it looks real. We, we see a real human human wearing this. Uh, it's the right product. Be wary because this is obviously the wrong product. We don't want to load that picture in there. Um, and, and so that's awesome. Let's just get a variation of this same uh, image in there. That way we have two images. Um, we got description. You can write a description for this. Uh, I recommend it. I'm not going to do it right now. Um, but we have that in there. So let's push that to the store. Okay. The second product, let's call this a um, rope style choker necklace, I guess. I don't know. Um, images. So what this has got is a bunch of images <clears throat> already selected for us. It's got a bunch of different colors. So you can see that all the variants are already loaded in for you. So it'll automatically load in every single option available. Uh, you can get rid of that if you just want to sell one. Uh, to make it simple, you can leave it there if you want to give your customer choices. Um, you know, whatever. Let's leave it there. Uh, for right now. Now you'll see that this shows the cost um, and the price that's going to be listed in our store and our compared to price, original price, before sale price. And I'll show you uh, how I just get that set up in just a second here. Um, you can change your description if you want. Um, you know, you can select different images to get the best images that you think are going to sell uh, the best as well. This looks great. We want real people in there, so let's just get that selected. And this awesome real people, perfect. Um, you know, you can you can play around with it a little bit more, um, but once you're ready and you're good to go, go ahead and push it over to the shop. <clears throat> really quickly before we go back to our Shopify store, I want to talk to you about uh, what will happen after someone orders. Um, it'll pop up here, and to fulfill these orders, it's going to be automatic. The customer will enter all their information on your Shopify store. It'll load up and save in here. When you fulfill it, it'll automatically <clears throat> populate the appropriate fields uh, <clears throat> in your uh, in AliExpress. So it'll take you to the pay order page, and it's just insane. You got to check it out; it's amazing. Uh, the only thing you're going to do is like, and there's there's a notes to the seller. Uh, just mention that you know, hey, I'm drop shipping this, so don't include any uh, receipts or promotional material. <clears throat> and any of these big sellers, um, you know, on AliExpress will be happy to uh, take care of that for you might want to reach out to them before you start selling their product uh, or, or just kind of roll the dice, I guess, if you want as well. Um, and then what else do I want to talk to you about really quickly? Oh, go under settings here uh, for the Overload app and talk to you about global, global pricing rules. This is really cool. This is how it automatically pre-populated the price. So what we do is if the cost of the product is between zero and one dollar, we automatically mark it up nine times and our compare at price or original price will be 12 times that that product price and you can set all your rules depending on how much uh you know it, the product cost just keep in mind that it does not include 
it does not include the uh, what is it the shipping so just keep that in mind uh, but yeah it makes it real real super easy um, so let's go back to our store now all right uh, so we're back at our store and if you look at our products These are the two stores. This is our, our dashboard for our e-commerce store. They are loaded up in there. Um, overload, take care of everything. If you click on the product, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you can see that it is uh, already, already on there. I mean, you can change anything you want back here now that, it, that it's in there, all the pictures, uh, all the variants. Um, you know, you can change your, you know, your meta descriptions and your and your SEO titles for, for search results. Um, you know, you can change your pricing. Uh, you can do all kinds of stuff. You know, you can you can add collections here if if you want to make like necklaces and then uh, earrings and, and stuff like that. And you can play around with it, but it, you know, it's really cool. But anyways, when you go over to your store, um, let's see. Just click on it really quickly. Um, this theme has a place to enter your um, most uh, popular products on front, which is awesome because those are going to be your best sellers and your high margin products right in front of your potential uh, customer. So that's awesome. But if you look at all the products, look at it automatically. I mean, it's it's in the store. You know, it's it's ready to go. Our store is is awesome. It's it's ready to take orders. So if someone clicks on that. Um, you know, it's, it's right there. I mean, there's our images. I mean, how cool is this, you know? Um, we're going to add that to cart. See these are the variants that we saw earlier. Do they want silver? Do they want gold? Doesn't matter. It'll take care of it automatically for us. Add it to the cart. Um, you know, we view cart. And this is where we're going to have our you may also be interested uh, option. In here, so when when they do go to checkout and complete the process, it's going to suggest the other necklace too. So hopefully they'll buy both of them, and that's how we uh, make some money. I mean, when they go to the checkout, it's it's pretty straightforward. You know, it's it's taken care of for you. You know, we're on Shopify's uh, secure checkout now. Um, they can enter their credit card information. They can they can pay with PayPal. Um, and, and that's it. You can charge whatever shipping you want. You can ship for free. You can ship for ten bucks. Um, all the settings are in in Shopify. Um, that's it. So yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, great way to make money without investing money. So go check it out. Um, follow that post. Read it. Uh, see the philosophy. See how to pick winning products. Uh, see how much to to charge and how to, to advertise. Oh, the other cool thing. I want to show you really quickly. I think it's on this dashboard. If you go down here, when you shop, uh, sign up for Shopify and um, put your credit card in, which you're going to do right away because you still won't get charged for 14 days, you get $100 in free Google AdWords. Okay, So you go claim your AdWords credit. It'll take you over to AdWords. You sign up a new account, and you can advertise $100 free. So once again, you are not putting any money up front, not even for advertising. So you can start making sales with that $100 of free advertising and then you'll start getting paid and then you can reinvest that i mean that's crazy that's that's awesome that's great so anyways yeah check out that blog post in the in the um in the in the comment or the uh, description below it'll really kind of bring this all together uh you know once again i'm not trying to sell you anything i don't order offer a master class on on this i just it's a it's a viable option for a lot of people so i wanted to get it out there uh you do me a favor you know uh, like this video uh, you know, maybe put a comment down below saying, hey, thanks, man. Awesome. Just to just kind of help the video out. But yeah, like I said, nothing to sell here. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you know, there's you'll see there's plenty of ways to get a hold of me, especially if you go over to that blog post and check it out. But uh, hopefully this helps and uh, good luck. This is about uh, the best way to start making money online without spending any money. OK, thanks. Mm -hmm.